Um, love CRPGs. This is considered a CRPG uh, in the likes of uh, the 90s. So it's inspired CRPG from the late 80s and 90s. Passageway is of the Ancients transports such tiny print players into the world of Arion. The galaxy's sole remaining magical planet where they explore the city of Ithgar and solve their parents' murder. Let's see if it's any good. Bye. Okay, we can change key binds. I like that. Fantastic. All right, new game. Arion with its mate, the Lavender Star, whatever. According to the deepest science, Lavender Stars are not supposed to exist. Yet here in this obscure corner of the Infiverse, be she blithely validates all science profundities. Furthermore, the kind of planets with real magic and palpable magic beings were presumed to be confined to the pages of myth, legends, and fairy tales. It was never surmised that their ilk could actually intrude upon the fabric of reality itself. Equally preposterously was thought of a race of beings oh man that was quick part angelic being part shapeshifter and part dragon these creatures were thought to be merely the phantasm of some mad poetic genius inspired prophet or demented scholar and here they were arion i don't know how to pronounce that and the dragon kint beating out the songs of their lives unaware of the absurdity of their existence In many ways, the city of Ithgar reflected their incongruous nature of the planet. They're, they're like big words, don't they? It was a strange mixture of dichotomies, an amalgamation of many mysteries and diverse races, existing nowhere else in the known universe. Humans, dwarves, and elves all measured out their lives in fair Ithgar. Even families of Dragonkint dwelt among them, shapeshifted. Ithgar was like an ungainly adolescent youth that retained much of its medieval heritage while signs of the emergence of technology were sprouting up everywhere, especially in the homes of the rich and well-educated. Flooded into the maelstrom of medieval towers, gas jet lightning, and Victorian-like decor was the spiritual vision Ithgar had inherited from the dragonkin themselves. Kind? Kind? Any quits? All right, so female's invisible. Yeah, well, there she is. Look quite feminine too. All right, so uh, obviously dwarf at the same face. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Elf, do you have the same face? No, oh, hey, the elf is different. Doors are short, hardy. Okay, it just talks about the horse. Uh, red hair, sure.
I am one just creepy dude. See, we got we can pick between. Uh, we gotta have some here. Uh, we'll be short. See, we can pick between cleric, like the hammer, mage, oh, staff, the paladin. Got some movies. That's what I got. I got some movies. Uh, rogue. Sentinel. The Sentinel. It's like a warrior? Well, if we pick Cleric, we can heal. I'm assuming. Is this... Okay, so your stats do change. It's what you need. So 15 int. 13 dex. Oh, here we go. Wisdom. Wisdom represents your character's mental flexibility, contributing bonuses to the mana pool for paladins and clerics. Okay. Contributed to a bonus to weapon class and increases a rogue's mana pool. Okay, which is mana pool stuff. Will. Character's mental durability granting bonuses to regenerating health, mana, and stamina, as well as contributing to Mage's ability to magically ward off minor damage. Uh, a dumb dwarf. Intelligence represents your character's mental ability granting you mana and added spell damage. For rogues, it is contributed to dodging. X. And for mages, generates weak warding effects to damage. Cog, yeah, Dex. Yeah. Character's physical burliness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we need more wisdom. Oh, we can read. All those tens. I like that. I don't know if this is like normal D and D rules type of thing they're doing. So if you get bonuses to the even numbers, I don't know, but that's what I'm gonna do. Wait, but is it just for? Yeah, do negative charisma, and we'll just do a little bit more strength. Okay, so our body. Oh my goodness. Really? I did not expect this. I'm gonna change my face? Not actual face face, just stuff on my face. Okay, difficulties, we got standard, strategic, and expert. Uh, we'll just leave our body as it is, I think. Start game. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no! I wanted to... I wanted to play through the play. The young tower tree was roused from tormented twilight. Now... Okay. The tooth monsters of the portcullis, which guarded the access to the streets of Ithgar, delivered a forlorn, irritated metal wail that assailed one's ears mercilessly. It was as if they objected to being so unexpectedly shaken from their nightly slumber. Slowly they rose, revealing the main road of the town and allowing admittance to the carriage and its passengers. 
peering out the window of the gloomy scion gazed absently at the storm drenched streets of the quaint town tower tree had called home as the young dragon over and over the words of crater elder tumbled oh my god that was quick your parents were both dead by what agency you do not know the vice-like grip of grief an almost unpredictable beast that had tortured the young tower tree all evening once again made an appearance making it momentarily impossible to breathe tower tree's parents were both gone gone and most likely murdered and it was a scion's grim task to reveal the mechanism that brought about to their untimely end Watching the parade of familiar buildings as they passed by the carriage window invoked bittersweet images of countless trips to the city that Tower Tree and Rostia, the most devoted mother, had taken. Scions could almost see her kindly face dance before her fear, uh, the tearful eyes and smell of her distinct essence, an earthly mixture of kitchen spices, incense, and toil. Abruptly, these warm memories grew cold and ashen and lay like a ponderous tombstone upon the weary dragonkind's chest. The newly acquired companion and tormentor was back again. The grieving sign interviewed what was known about the events surrounding the senior tower tree's death. Helia, the estate's prelator, had discovered the bodies of her on her usual morning trip to the main house to assist the preparation of breakfast and shore that looked forward to each day. That morning, the tower trees were distinctly absent from the main floor of the estate, more particularly absent from the kitchen, which in and of itself was highly irregular. Sensing that something was amiss, Helia set to find them. Through investigation of the first floor revealed nothing out of the ordinary. But when she reached the sitting room that adjoined their bedroom, Helly discovered their lifeless forms slumped in chairs surrounding a small table. Craft of their favorite liquor set between them. Brilliantly, flashes of lightning revealed that the carriage was approaching the elven quarter of its. It was a magical place with its lyrical buildings, regal towers, and pristine streets. Memories of Balin Mortis, the kindly elven prelate that ran the house of the ascending star cascading through the young scion's mind. Peppered throughout the images were glimpses of Lindoran standing in the shops beside the young tower tree. Lindorian had been a stern yet discerning and oddly benevolent father. Seeing his face momentarily in the memory of mirror brought a new wave of breath-stopping grief to the chest of the tents of Dragonkind. Early Tower Tree Scion remembered the elven delicacy of Olin? It was a sweet cake brimming with ginger, allspice, nutmeg, and raisins that delivered the most heavenly flavor when consumed. And Dorian had always purchased one of these exotic cakes for the young Scion when they visited Balin's shop. Tower Tree caught a glimpse of the town carriage terminal up ahead. Soon, Scion would change the carriages and begin the final legs of the sad journey. Hopefully less reading. I highly doubt this is going to be voice acted. Hey, here we are. Oh, a lot more reading. I didn't change my name, but I don't mind, Caledon. You're home. I grieve over your loss of your parents. Thanks for your sentiments, Helia. It means a lot coming from you. You've been faring how you've been faring since their deaths. I've been confused and lost. Glendorian and Drostia gone. So too is their knowledge that could help locate Hasvox. These are truly dark times, not only for Tower Tree Clan, but the entire Dragonkind brood. Would you like to uh, I would take you to the mansion, or, yeah, the mansion, but the magistrate of Ithgar sealed it off in the investigation for clues that the killer may have left behind. So we were not able to look for the clues ourselves yet. But that's why I asked you to meet me here. I need your help. Of course. We need to retrieve Lindorian 
Kefar, so that we can learn more about the items brought home on his last trip. I know it's on his desk in his attic, but the desk has a special lock that requires a complex key. I haven't been able to find the key yet. Otherwise, I would just pick the lock myself. I know the key has to be here in the gatehouse somewhere. I'm not sure where you might have hidden it. All right. Uh, what do you think the Kifar might be, or might tell us? She's a talkative one. Well, one thing I hope that we could talk about is a strange tear-shaped stone that Lindorian was studying. I heard him clearly say that it was dangerous. I'm not sure why, though. So the day after the murder, I went up to the office and found a stone sealed in a container. I spent the entire day trying to destroy it with no avail. I turned the next morning to continue my attempts, but the stone was nowhere to be found. It completely vanished. Ever since then, things have been appearing and disappearing around the gatehouse the past few days. I swear, I see things moving in the corner of my eye from time to time. That is worrisome. Even if I find it, what would you do to destroy it? I was tinkering with a biz bizarre device that claimed that can destroy these types of objects. I only saw it once, and it was truly the most eldritch apparatus I've ever seen. It looked to uh, have candles that surrounded the central pedestal, where I assume these objects are placed. I'll tell you more about Lindorian. It seems to have hidden it. Rather odd, seeing how it was studying the evening before his murder. If I can find that device, maybe we can figure out how to destroy these objects. Crater Cam Camden might know more, but he went to the cellar a while ago and hasn't returned. He disappeared with everything else. Why did Crater Camden go to the cellar? I'm not sure. He arrived earlier today, rather determined look on his face. He briefly consoled me, and then he asked to borrow the room, my rune stones. After he gave them to me, he rushed into the cellar and locked the passage behind him. But it's been far too long, and I'm worried that something might have happened to him. I know Dorian kept a spare set of rune stones here in the gatehouse, but I can't remember where. I wasn't paying much attention when he told me. I never thought it would be important because I had given me my own set. That makes things a little more difficult. It's okay, I can think, uh, all I can, everything I think of now. I think we should split up now in order to find what we need. Let me know if there's anything. I think we're telling him this so we can bend trying to piece stuff together. Sure. Ooh, okay. Okay, so we just click. Okay with that. A conversation. Really? Yeah. Wing it. Alright, so I can use was too, kind of. Harp Square does nothing. So Q pauses it. Oh. Bestiary quest log. Wonder if it would rotate the camera, but I don't, I don't see a way of doing it. Do the seat cushions. If I had a uh, ring of minor willpower, uh, yeah. it's a little loud. Who puts her pants in a couch? Yeah, let's take a look here. So inventory eye, uh, we're going to put that ring on. Horse pants. We can hide our helm. I don't know. I have kind of an ugly face. We'll keep the helm on. <laughs> Ring of Minor Health Regen.
Roostong. Okay, I found that. On the key. And a potion. Can I zoom out? Oh, I can. Perfect. What about opening it up on the chair? Must be a hidden spot under in on the seat. Amulet, a minor mana regeneration. Words belt. Two armor, one strength. So. I don't mind looting things in games that have a lot of loot we can get on these CRPGs, but some of this stuff seems like ridiculous things that we're getting in here. Thought maybe alt would highlight stuff. Well, devs, if you're watching, uh, we don't need to find loot and everything. Like finding clothes inside a uh, sofa. Last fun the last game. Last game was pretty good. Oh, Some hidden there. Oh my god, we got kobolds. I'm not ready for this. Um, melee invoke spell book. I transform. All this sheath and unsheath run, cancel action, change formation, map, study room, options, free scrolling. I only got bless. Protection that sets us apart. Deploy the power divine to protect yourself or friends from harm. Last for one hour. Cast uh, that on myself? Cast it on myself? be a way to rotate the screen, right? Okay. Is there a way to rotate this? Continuous character movement is control right click. See a way to rotate. Use the arrow keys to move. Oh, stored zero? Auto repeat casting. Guess we're just smacking it.
roots. God, wrong button. Now, can I... It says zero stored, so how would I store it? to bless. Not blessing. 